The brushes that GIMP comes with are great. Don't get me wrong, you can do all kinds of stuff with the default brushes. However, sometimes you want some interesting shapes or some splatter spray paint brushes or some different textures. And that's where custom brushes step in. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to acquire, download, and use custom brushes. So let's head over to the Premiere resource for brushes, which is now deviantart.com. This is great because there's all kinds of amateur and professional artists congregating together to share artwork and resources. So on the left here, once you've gone to deviantart.com, go down to the resources and stock images category. And then after that, into application resources on the left here. So we've gone from all categories to resources and stock images to application resources. And here you'll see all kinds of assets people have created for free, mostly, um, actually entirely, I think. So you can download them and use them in your program. Now, what, one of the really cool things about GIMP is that GIMP actually recognizes and can utilize the .abr file type, which is Photoshop's file type. So GIMP works really well with that and its native brush file type, which is .vbr. So I'm gonna go down here, find one of the brushes that I like. I like these one, or these ones, rather. The uh, Winter Breeze Brush Pack by Axe Raider. 70. This is actually one of the most popular brush packs in the world. Pepsi uses them, or, or has used them at one point. Um, so I'm going to download them. On the right here, you'll see there's a great big download file icon about halfway down the page. So I'll click on that, and then save it. Save file. And while that downloads, I'm going to navigate to my GIMP brush folder. So start. Computer. Pay attention carefully here. I'm going to go to my local disk, hard drive, Mac users. I'm not quite sure what it's called on Mac, but for Windows, it's your C drive, unless you've changed that drive number, in which case you know where I'm going already. And then into Program Files, GIMP 2, Share, GIMP 2.0, Brushes, and finally Basic. Now within this Brushes folder. There are lots of other folders that are just there for organizational purposes only, as far as I know. So I'll just put my brushes in basic, then I'll hop over to wherever I download the brushes, which happens to be my downloads folder. And I'm just going to drag and drop those brushes right into that folder in GIMP, which I'll read that name again in case you're still navigating there. It's Program Files, GIMP 2, Share, GIMP 2.0, Brushes, and Basic. Finally. Now, GIMP has to be restarted before it will uh, load up those brushes. So I'm gonna exit out of my document, close without saving. You can see my wonderful desktop background painting there and restart GIMP. You can see it's rescanning the brushes and starting its extensions. New document and you'll notice down here, I've got my new fancy brush pack. I'll just select them up the size a little bit, start pain away with some crazy brushes and doing some cool stuff so that is how you install custom brushes and I hope this has been helpful